listening to the Spectacular Magazine radio show on Foxy 107-104. Enlightening, empowering, entertaining. Good morning and welcome to Spectacular Magazine radio show. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley, CEO and publisher of Spectacular Magazine radio show. Spectacular Magazine radio show on Foxy shines a spotlight on community issues that impact our neighborhoods. We are your community-focused resource. I just want you to be sure you save on your calendar the 15th annual North Carolina Juneteenth celebration will take place on June 15th from 1 to 10 p.m. in downtown Durham. For more information, visit our website, SpectacularMag.com. On May 1st, the Association of Ed Educators will hold the North Carolina's Teachers Rally in Raleigh. Joining me now is the president of the North Carolina Association of Educators, Mark Jewell. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Phyllis. And, and How are well, you? I'm good, and welcome to Spectacular Magazine it Radio Show. It is an honor to be here on behalf of NCAE and public education. Well, thank you. And so speaking of that, tell us, what is the mission sure. of the NCAE? Sure. The mission of North Carolina Association of Educators is a public education advocacy organization that advocates on behalf of North Carolina's 1.5 million public school students. Uh, our educators and employees and the communities that we serve. Okay, and so you guys are holding this rally. Yes. I mean, let's just skip right into it because I want to spend the most of our time talking about this. Absolutely. So it's going to be on May 1st. Yep. Why are you having this? Because this is the second year, this right? This is the second year yeah, in a row. Okay. And uh -huh. I tell everybody, you can't really talk about May 1 or May 16th of last year when we had 30,000 folks gather in Raleigh as well mm -hmm. without, ta without talking what happened in the summer of uh, July of 2013 okay. when the supermajority North Carolina General Assembly uh, pretty much uh, started de-investing in public education. We had a supermajority at that time that decided to choose the corporate boardroom uh, over the public school uh, classroom and had massive tax cuts that basically left three billion dollars every year off of the table for our public schools. Three, so we, are you saying three, three, bi three billion dollars be? every year that would be, with a okay. B, that would be going into our schools every year had they not had those tax cuts. And as a result, as our state was uh, re rebuilding from uh, the recession, you know, we were starving our school districts and we've had about 10 years of uh, this austerity where, you know, now we haven't had a textbook in 15 years for our kids. We have 35 kids in many of our classrooms. We have uh, a huge teacher shortage where we have about 1,500 vacancies all year. We have our lowest paid support professional workers, our bus drivers, our custodians, our teacher assistants that are still making $19,000 a year and having to pay $750 a month in insurance and living in extreme poverty. And our, school, our students deserve much better because our schools are starving right now for resources. Wow. Okay. And so you decided to have a rally? I mean, because typically you've been lobbying, you go down to the General Assembly and that kind of we, thing. We are an advocacy and lobbying organization. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes uh, extreme times come for disruptive measures. Mm -hmm. And so we are we marked this day as May 1 at our representative assembly, our state convention in March, and decided again to have another another day of action for with five key priorities this year that we want the General Assembly to address as they are planning the two-year budget. What are those? Those five priorities, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, uh, first of all, we want to make sure that we need to increase our support specialists. Those are our school social workers, our counselors, uh, our school psychologists, our nurses, our, uh, our, our librarians as well. We know that our kids are coming uh, with traumatic needs and we can't address those when we don't have the support professionals to address those needs. We rank 50th in the nation in right now in how we fund the social and mental health kids. We are also pushing for a 5% pay raise uh, for all of our educators. You know, right now, as I said, we have a huge teacher shortage. Uh, we have a beginning teacher salary that begins at $35,000 and ends at $52,000. That's not enough to recruit and retain mm -hmm. uh, high quality educators. We're also pushing for the fight for 15, the $15 minimum uh, wage for our lowest paid workers. So the bus drivers and absolutely, the cafeteria Absolutely, absolutely. They're joining with us this, yes. uh, this year. We couldn't be prouder of that fact. We're also, of course, raising the Medicaid issue now. You know, North Carolina refused to accept the Medicaid expansion under yes. the Affordable Care Act, and we have, you know, uh, a quarter of our population that is uh, getting sick and dying, and our kids can't learn if they're not healthy when they come to the classroom. Right, and so. 
And you're making these demands, I just want to be sure, right. to our General Assembly. So as they're working on their budget, because they're in the budget uh, Absolutely. The, the House now. budget's going to roll right. out here maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. So mm -hmm. we'll see what's going to happen there. Uh, we know already they've put something in there, a provision in there that's trying to make it uh, really eliminate uh, our educators' right to come and attend rallies on personal days. So that has been put in the See, budget. that's another thing. Why? So uh, the teachers have a right to request to have a day off. Absolutely. And, and we well, pay for it. Fifty dollars. We have to pay yes. for it. Yep. Uh, how much? Fifty dollars. We're the only state that requires to take a personal day. We have to have pocket and pay for it so that I'm we sorry, can come. What? What? Yes. Uh, it's, uh, so it's, it's if it's I statute. if you if I'm a teacher and yes. I want to I need the day off. Absolutely. I have to pay fifty dollars. Fifty dollars back to the state to take that day uh, that personal day off. It's absolute. But our educators are willing to do that in order to fight for our students. Yes, and I understand that. And so many have done that, Phyllis, that we've had three school districts close already because so many have requested. So we anticipate a huge crowd. Yes, and so let's talk about that day. So what time? Now, first of all, do you have to be a teacher? Do you have to be a even involved in the school? you know, employed by the school system to, to participate? No, we have parents and community members coming out. We have business leaders. We have the advocates for social justice and yes, civil yes. rights okay. uh, joining us. We've been supported by over 50 uh, progressive organizations, uh, you know, advocating for our students. Okay, so tell us, now let's talk yeah. a little bit about what, where should people report, Absolutely. you know, that kind of thing. We're okay. asking, for, we know our buses from across, their charter buses from across the state are going to be arriving about 8.30. Mm -hmm. At the NCAE Center, which is 700 South Salisbury Street, okay. right downtown. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a pre uh, pep rally at 10 o'clock a.m. with uh, our DJ Julio Morales kicking us off. Okay. We're going to plan to start to march around 10 30. We're mm -hmm. going to go up Fayetteville Street. We're going to march right up to the legislative building, wrap around that, and then end up on Halifax Plaza. We plan to start rallying around 12 30. Okay, and what color should everyone wear? Hey, we need them to wear red for Ed for public education in North Carolina. Wear red for Ed for education. I'm wearing red today because I yes. want to. I stand with the with the educators and with our school system and all of our school employees. We and so I, appreciate that. And you know, and I do now. If but you want people to register just so you have some idea of how many people to yes. expect. How can yes. they register? Yes, they register on our website, which is www. NCAE.org. It's very simple and easy to register. Mm -hmm. We do want to get kind of a, a, a count because we, you, know, you just don't know how many people are going to show up. We had yes. about 30,000 last year. So. And, and real quick, so why are they saying this is Marxist? I'm hearing people saying that this is a Marxist yes, movement. Yes, it's very sad that an extreme few are trying to discredit the hard work of our public school educators. Mm -hmm. And it is you know, deeply offensive to think that they would try to use that t same type of language as they did for social justice and civil rights organizations for decades. And compare it with being communist. And, and, right, can compare us. It's the, the same thing they did when we were integrating our schools. And uh, I couldn't be proud of the fact that our educators across North Carolina are rising up for our students. Mark, thank you so much for the work that you're doing. And I just, and, and I know it won't stop on May yeah. 1st. I mean, May 1st is really just a be it another is. beginning to, you know, to make this happen. I do want, yes, I do want to say this. This is the very beginning of the budget process. We know it's going to go on throughout, you know, the summer. Uh -huh. So we ask everybody to stand at attention and yes. to watch closely because May 1 is just the beginning. And you, and we will have this information on our website at SpectacularMag.com as well as NCAE.org. Mark Jewell, thank you. It is awesome and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much. So we're going to go to some music now. we got Gotta Have You by Jonathan McReynolds. We'll be back with Spectacular Magazine radio show on Foxy. I gotta have you. 